And by the magic of video, I am at the end of my round, close to it. I've got a few more stitches here to go. And there's not a whole lot of, um, you don't have to worry about where exactly to stop. You can tell by the change of the color of yarn. So I know I wanna stop three red stitches before. You know, I think of it as kind of like, don't run off the cliff. I don't wanna get all the way to the end of that last color. Um, Round. I'm going to start just a few stitches before that and if you find you want to stop four stitches or five stitches ahead you can do that as well it's totally up to you I find that three seems to be like it seems to be a good number and um, here are my three stitches and that third stitch you see is connected to my ball of red yarn that is the live stitch so I am going to slip one two we're doing this pro wise Slip three stitches um, with the um, red yarn. And I just want to make sure that these two yarns don't tangle with each other. So I'm leaving that one, um, the black one, over here. Now it's going to kind of live over here to the right while I start to work my, um, my red stitches. I'm just continuing this round, right? This red spirally around and here it is getting on top of the previous the very first stitch of red and we're just going to work 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 our little um our little stitches in this helix helical pattern helix helixy helixy the helix helix pattern which is just a way to do these little one round stripes with no jog. So the only thing um, that is noticeable really is sort of the beginning and the end of the spiral, the beginning and the end of kind of the spring, if you will. So here I am, I've got those a little bit out of the way. You can kind of see this, you can see certainly the start of that um, where the spiral began. But when we, and we're gonna, of course, once we get a few more rounds in, we can weave this, um, unpick that and weave it in. I'll show you how to do that in a bit as well. Um, but because we did the um, two color rib a little bit larger than the single uh, color rib, we did a, a little more height of it. When it flips over, when this flips over, it's gonna cover that beginning. So this spiral is just gonna sort of, um, appear from under this turned rim. So we're going to knit a little more on this and we will be back to show you um, some more steps. But that, my friends, is how easy helical knitting can be.